Hi students, I'm Karen Reed, Librarian at GCC. In this video, I will be showing you the library research guide I designed for Art History 101, specific to your annotated bibliography assignment. We will be talking about the different information resource types that you need to find um, to include on your bibliography, and I will be showing you how you can find these through the library databases. In this video, we are going to focus on reference resources. And in the next video, I am going to be showing you how to find um, scholarly articles. And both of those are going to be found using the library databases, as opposed to doing an open web search like on Google. So I created this guide. It is broken into sections. And they are listed over here on the left of the guide. If you go into a tab, you can see that there's further information within it, and you can click on it and go directly to that information. I hope I don't intimidate you by the amount of information that's on this guide. Um, trust me, it's less information than you would find if you went directly to the library um, web page and tried to find it. I've dropped information um, specifically that you need into this guide. So the videos are going to show you what you need to do, and then you can come back to the guide and follow specific links. Your teacher will be providing you with the link to your library research guide. So um, in the assignment details, you are going to be finding six different sources of information for this assignment. Um, you need to find a reference resource, a scholarly article, an open website resource, and you are going to be citing um, two art objects as well. The first art object is the one that you have selected as the focus for this assignment, and that is going to be something that you select um, from the, the timeline of art history. It needs to be non-Western, created before 1400 AD. And you've probably already chosen that. You are also going to find a second art piece from roughly the same time and place. So say you chose a Chinese scroll from the Song Dynasty of China, you should seek out a second art piece um, from roughly the same time period and from that area of China. So here I've, I've kind of laid it out a little, a little more clearly, the six things that you're looking for. Oh, the sixth and final choice, um, it can be either referenced um, scholarly or it can be an open website. Um, it's really important that you understand the difference between different um, resources of information. When you are looking at everything on a web browser, it is easy to think, that everything you're looking at is a website. And that's actually not true. Library databases are, are different from websites. Additionally, I could find a reference resource either through the library databases or on the open web. Um, so I might be looking at a web page that has reference information. I would recommend that you get most of your resources from the library um, databases because they have gone through an editorial process and they are a little more reliable than much of what you find on the open web. Certainly you can find wonderful information on the open web, um, but you do want to make sure that it's reliable. And if you use the library databases, you have a little more assurance that what you have found is credible information. So going back to our library guide, what is a reference resource? Well, if you wanna know, we're gonna go into the tab labeled reference resources. Reference resources are articles that come from things like encyclopedias or specialized dictionaries. They provide a general overview of a topic they um, define key terms and they give essential background information and they explain key concepts. You may access them electronically or you may access them in print form. If you go to a library, 
and look through an encyclopedia. You're looking at it in print, um, but you could probably find um, the same or similar source electronically by going through the databases. And nobody reads an encyclopedia from cover to cover. They refer to different articles within the encyclopedia um, that speak to the topic they're researching. And so if I'm researching cats, I might get an encyclopedia on cats, and then I would look up a specific breed of cats. For your assignment, um, you're going to choose your art object. And I recommend finding some general um, reference background information on the cultural history of your art object. For example, um, I like this uh, feline head bottle um, that I found on the timeline. Um, lots of my examples are going to be about cats. I really like cats. So here is the feline head bottle. I have some general information that the museum is giving me here, and I want to read this carefully because there are going to be different words in this description that are going to help me search later on. So I learned that it is a ceramic vessel, and I learn um, that it is, um, let's see, it's probably based on a jaguar and that they were um, revered in ancient times. For their prowess. If I scroll down, there are more object details here. It kind of repeats a little bit of that same information, um, but I see it specifically um, Tembladera, and that's, um, I think that's a place within Peru. If I look, um, if I click on these plus signs, I can get more information. We're still on the Met Museum's website here. Um, oh, vessel, that's something. I, I thought of that as a bottle, um, but it's also a vessel, a water vessel. So that might be another word that I use when I'm searching. And here are some um, related objects that the museum has linked to. So armed with that information, I'm going to go back here. I want to find some general information on Peru. And there is a database called Countries, People, and Culture. I am going to look at the volume on Central and South America because Peru is on, on that continent. And so I would click on this, I would enter my MEID and password when prompted, and I would look at the volume on Peru. Within that volume on Peru, there is a section on cultural history art and cultural history architecture. Now, it's going to be really general information. Remember that your reference resource is not necessarily going to be super in-depth. It's an overview. Here's a little more specific um, reference information. I have linked to um, a resource called Art World History in two volumes. I want you to focus on volume one because that covers the proper time period for this assignment. Um, volume two goes beyond 1400. So you um, want to click on volume one in which you will find chapters um, or sections on all of these um, different um, regions and art that might speak to the art object you've selected. I'm going to show you this. I've already logged in today, so I don't have to log in with my MEID and password again. Um, I, you can see it was originally a book. We're accessing it online but this is a PDF of a, a book that was published. So I'm gonna read it online. It takes a moment or two to load. The table of contents is on the left. And if I click on that, it is going to show me volume one and volume two. Click on the arrow next to volume one. And now we see the um, different sections of the book in here. If I go into early civilizations, again, click on the little arrow, um, I see these, these different sections of, of the book. So um, maybe I want to go into the origins of, early, of art, early artifacts. Kind of hard to say. So I'm, I'm going to be looking at this information. And, you know, obviously this is um, very specific to art. But again, it's a general overview. It's a little more specific, but it's still a general overview. 
So um, you can go back to the guide. Maybe you don't like either one of these sources very much and you want to look for something else. If you scroll down to find articles, we're still within the reference resources section of the guide. Um, you can actually type directly into the search box here. So um, you can just use a couple of different words. I could search for art and Peru and I want to limit it to reference articles. Um, or, so it's going to look for each of these words um, individually. So it's going to find me all articles that have either the word art or Peru somewhere in the article. And it's going to be limited to a reference article. I'm still probably going to get quite a few results. If you want to be a little more specific, um, you can put words in between, in between quotation marks. So the Moche ruler portraits, I'm not positive I'm saying that word right, Moche ruler portraits, limited to reference, and search. Now it's only finding me one result because my, re my search was so specific. Um, I click on it to read it, and it is going to load here in a minute. It, this is the title of the reference article, and it tells me very clearly where this came from. It comes from the World History Encyclopedia. Um, it was published in 2011, that's over here. And um, usually reference articles don't give a specific author, but they do give you editors. So this um, encyclopedia has been through an editorial process. ABC Clio um, is a publisher. You probably don't recognize the name. I recognize the name. They're an academic publisher. I trust this source of information. I haven't even read it yet, and, and I think this is likely to be a reliable source of information. So I'm going to scroll down, and I'm going to read about these. Um, this isn't about the feline bottle, but this is just a different example. So. Um, I'm going to read this article. It's not very long. It's a brief overview. And um, I'm going to email it to myself because I want to, now that I've found it, I don't want to lose it. So I can either email it to myself or save it to my Google Drive. Um, additionally, there is a citation feature. Um, you have to be really careful with using these. It has all of the information I need in either APA format Chicago format or MLA format, but sometimes there are little mistakes that are made in these computer-generated citations, so be careful. We're going to use Noodle tools to make our citations, and that will be better. I also want to show you that in this particular database, it's giving me links to articles that are related. I search very specifically for Moche Ruler Portraits. And so the database didn't find me this information on Moche culture because I didn't use the word culture. And if I click on this, if I was um, doing research on, on um, those ruler portraits, this gives me quite a bit of reference information about um, that culture. And it's defining for me a lot of words. Some of these words I don't actually need to find, but you can see that um, Reference articles are really written for anybody to understand, and they're, they're very, very clear. When we get to our scholarly articles, those are going to be a lot more difficult to read. So this looks like a pretty good article, and I stumbled across it um, when searching. So when you are searching, you need to try different um, approaches. You're going to try mixing and matching different search terms. It's really important that you use just a few words at a time. Don't look for too many words at once. Don't type in full sentences. So if you have questions about this, it really takes practice when you're researching. If you have questions, go into the assignment overview. And this is where my contact information is. There's my email. And again, you can set up a Google Meet with me. I would be very happy to help you.
Um, eventually, we are going to add these um, into our Noodle Tools account. And um, we're going to get to that in a different video. First, in the next video, we're going to talk about finding your scholarly resources.